Good evening. It's the weekend, January 28th, 2022. The sports guy here, John Christopher. About 15 minutes before the first tip-off of the evening, the men's Wildcats versus SUNY Canton. We've played them before, and we beat them. There are some changes in the lineup tonight, but in, in my opinion, and only my opinion, it's a good move. I'm not sure that they know how to deal with this change. The starters for tonight, as I go over here in just a minute, it's gonna be a fast offense tonight. Thank you so much for being a part of the Casanova College YouTube channel. I am the voice of the Wildcats, John Christopher. Had a meeting with the athletic director today, and there's some things coming in the future. Looking forward to everything. Go ahead. We'll be right back. Sometimes in the middle of live TV, you have to go over changes, and there'll be a couple changes in the women's game tonight. Let's go over the starting lineups for the men's game, which will be in about 11 minutes and 22 seconds. For SUNY, Can SUNY Canton, starters tonight, number one, DeMarrow Levy, junior guard, 6'1", 170 from Houston, Texas, Cypress Lakes. Pretty big school, actually. Uh, Coron Dubois, junior guard, 6'3", 190, Niagara Falls, New York High School, Niagara Falls. Starter, Justin Chambers Phillips, senior, 5'10", guard from Bronx, New York, Mount St. Michael Academy. Danny Santana, 6'5", senior, Guard, 190, Clifton, New Jersey, Clifton High School. And, as we spoke before, Andrew Fitch, senior forward, 7'1", 220 from Melbourne, Ohio. I'm sorry, Melbourne, Australia. Heatherton Christian High School. Those are your starters for SUNY Canton. Starters for our Wildcats tonight are as follows. Number two, Aiden Zare, freshman guard, six foot, 170 from Lowville, New York, Lowville High School. Nate Klein, sophomore guard, 6'2", 175 from Binghamton, New York, Chenango Valley High School. Kobe Bogard, sophomore guard forward, 6'5", 230, Owego, New York, Owego High School. Um, Amani Clark, senior, Forward 6'3, 225, Poughkeepsie, New York, Corning Community College. And the change today, Thomas Jones III will not be here. Rashawn Hunter, senior guard, 6'160 from, from Hawaii, Kapoli, Hawaii, Watertown High School. Those are your starters for tonight's games the first one, and I want to apologize to the mother of Lu Lucia Luci Liv Livrio. I will make sure that I say it correctly before the game, but I apologize. We have about eight minutes left. 
before the game. And we'll be right back uh, with a tip-off.
Welcome to Casanova in New York. I am the sports guy, John Christopher. The first of two games tonight against SUNY Canton. The men's game is going to be the first game we're going to do. And the women's game will be at 7.30. We thank you so much for being a part of the Casanova men's basketball team. Tonight's starters are as follows. Aiden Zare, number two. Number three, Nate Klein. Number four, Kobe Bogard. Number 15, Amani Clark. And number 20, Rashawn Hunter for our Casanova Wildcats. For SUNY Canton, Demario Levy, Quan Dubois, Justin Chambers Phillips, Danny Santana, and Andrew Fitch. If you remember from the last game, Andrew Fitch is seven foot one from Melbourne, Australia. So we are excited about tonight's game. Two 20 minute halves, and we hope that you join us in the comment section and let us know where you're watching this broadcast. We are on the Casanova College Athletics uh, YouTube page. We're also on my Facebook page. You can follow me on Twitter, at SportsGuyJohn, and you also can follow me, a.k.a. Chris Clanton, on Facebook. And I have a John Christopher page as well. So we thank you very much for being a part of it. Leave your notes of where you're from because we keep track. I had a meeting with the athletic director today, and we talked about that. So we are excited. We have basketball for the next four hours and with me. So let's do this thing. Jump ball tonight, usually going to be Kobe Bogard against, well, tonight it's going to be Kobe Bogard against Fitch. And, you know, seven foot one against, and, you know, Bogard's a big dude. I walked up next to him earlier, and he's just a big dude. So we're getting ready for the jump ball. Bogard, good try, but uh, Fitch gets it back to Sunni Canton. Phillips was the uh, one that got, the, got, the, got it. And they fed inside to Fitch from Phillips. And so Canton leads two to nothing with 1940 left in the first half. Mr. Matrix, Rashawn Hunter. Aiden's there for a good shot. And what a nice shot. Aiden's there. Two to two, 1928 left in the first half. Looks like they're gonna feed to Andrew Fitch tonight. And uh, Bogart's going to have his hands full. Zare right there, and he blocks it. Nice rebound by Kobe Bogard, who runs the fast break. He goes inside, back to Nate Klein, back to Aiden Zare. They pass it around. There's Amani Clark. Back to Klein, looking for the empty shot. He goes inside. Oh, what a block by Fitch. He had 11 last game, so going to be tough. And um, Rashawn Hunter... Blocks it, and we get it back. Down goes Klein, and he's going to go over to seven. Almost got that. Uh, Fitch had a uh, little piece of that, so two to two, 18.39 left in the first half. Going to be a tough, tough, oh, what a catch by Rashad Hunter, and he goes, oh, and he, he got called for travel. He took that extra step. It's okay. Turnover by the Wildcats. 18-25 left, 2-2. Two to two. Hello, Jason Kirk and Sabrina Smedley and Mr. Cabrero Peter. Thank you for watching. Ball comes across the timeline. Canton looking for the open man. Of course, Fitch is always the open man. You know, he's seven foot one, but... Shot, three-pointer by Levy. 18.03 left in the first half. Five to three, SUNY Canton. Klein's gonna bring it down slowly. Calling for the play here. I call Klein the, the dealer. He's like a car dealer. He distributes the ball very, very well. Monty Clark gonna take a little shot, 12-15, but nice good jumper by Clark. Five to four, 17.42 left in the first half. Canton brings it back real fast. Fitch is calling for the ball. 
Lone three, rebound by Santana on the offensive end. Seven to four, 17-23 left in the first half. Pretty close here. Looking for the open man. Monty Clark gonna go inside. Gonna be a foul on SUNY Canton on a Monty Clark. It's gonna be a, that's the first team foul. First foul. Foul was on Andrew Fitch. Ball out, Casanova. Out to Aiden there. Kobe Bogard gonna make a move. He does not care how tall you are. He's gonna go inside. And a outside shot by Clark. Rebound by Levy. Levy had a lot of rebounds last time we, we played them. Long shot by Levy. And a pass to Zare to, to the dealer, Nate Klein, and he gets fouled by Fitch. That's two quick, that's two quick um, fouls on Fitch. So Fitch comes out, 1646 left in the first half. Number 24, Tavaga comes in. Nate Klein gets the first shot. And it's he missed it. So it was a one-and-one -one situation. Two fouls by Canton. Seven to six. Rebound by Aiden Zare. Monty Clark's bringing it down the fast break. They do not want a Monty Clark going inside on them. Klein looking for the open man. There's, there's Hunter. And he does that crazy shot. And rebound by Levy. Levy's very active. Very active player for Canton. And that was a pretty shot by Du Bois. 9-6, 16-02 left in the first half. Klein looking for the open man, goes inside to Bogard. Two inside to Bogard, out to Hunter. Hunter hits a three. Nice long shot. Nine to nine, 15-45. So we thought, I don't, Nine to nine with 15.45 left in the first half. Phillips is bringing it up for Canton. They're making a move and it's gonna be a foul on the ground. I believe on Rashad Hunter. That was uh, Santana making a move. It's gonna be, that is the I believe the first foul on on uh, Casanova. Not many fouls. This is going to be a good game. They've taken out the seven foot one guy very quickly. Good shot by Santana over Rashad Hunter. Eleven to nine with fifteen nineteen left in the first half. Klein brings it inside to Bogard out to Amani Clark. Working for the inside, it looks like. Bogart's asking for it. Bogart goes inside, and then he's going to go right back outside. He got trapped. And then Rashad Hunter, back to Rashad Hunter. Two Aiden's there. Two Imani Clark. Make a little move. And a little hard. 14.51 left, 11-9, SUNY Canton. Tabaga. A rebound by Rashad Hunter and Amani Clark takes a long shot and misses it. What are the days when you had inside shots? Everybody's shooting a three now. Steph Curry has changed basketball. Long shot, rebound, his own rebound, Levy. Levy gets, sends it to um, Santana, who gets an easy bucket, 13-9, 14-15 left in the first half. You're listening to Casanova Basketball on, on the YouTube channel, NCAA Division III Basketball. I am John Christopher. Inside to Nate Klein from Aiden Zare to Rashad Hunter. Out. Yeah. It's going to be K 
Casanova ball. Knocked out by Levy, who was trying to get a steal. I remember Canton doing all this. They, they moved people pretty quickly. It was hard to keep up with their, their lineup because they moved a lot of people. So we got um, Averett. You've got Santana. Harmer. Rebound by Klein. Shot clock violation. So 13.49 left in the first half, 13-9. So they're going to bring it up. Harmer's going to bring it up. Trying to make a move on Hunter. He had several blocks last game, too. Rashad Hunter to Nate Klein. Inside to, looks like Wilms has come in. Wilms has come in, and Marshall Withers has come in as well, who took Aiden Zares uh, a break there. So a long shot by Canton, rebound by Wilms. Wilms to Bogard. Bogard trying to make a move. Monty Clark, gonna make that move going inside, inside to Allen Wims. Wims is gonna not, he's one of those that does not care. And then back out to Wims, long three, he makes a move. Back, back to Rashad Hunter, rebound by Canton. Canton's gonna bring it up very quick. And he's trying to make the baseline shot on Withers, Withers not having it. Got a long shot by Olsen. So 16 to nine with 12.32 left in the first half. We're going to a timeout. We're gonna come back and get right back into it. You're listening to the sports guys here on YouTube TV right here in Casanova, New York. We'll see you in a minute. Welcome back to Casanova, New York. I am the sports guy, John Christopher. With 12.32 left in the first half, SUNY Canton leads 19, to, I'm sorry, 16 to nine. It's gonna be um, Casanova's ball. Withers is gonna bring it down. You got Withers, Shepard, Allen Wims, Amani Clark, and Rashad Hunter are your starters for Casanova. Hunter inside to Shepard. Shepard looking for the inside. He's going to make that little hook shot to Allen Wims. Allen Wims is going to go up, and I thought he got fouled there, but um, rebound by Olsen. Canton's looking for the open man. They don't have. To, they took out the seven foot wood guy pretty quick. He had in out with two fouls real quick. Rebound by. Withers, who gets fouled. So that's three team fouls on Canton. Side out, um, Casanova. Withers is going to bring it across the timeline. Withers to Shepard. Shepard looking for the open man. There's Amani Clark. They're being very patient. To Withers is looking for, oh, he's going to make that little move. He's got a little move there. I like the way Withers does that. Rashad. Look at that! Look at this sweep on that! That's why I call him the Matrix, because he does some funny little shots and twists his body and then makes it. So that's a two-pointer plus one. We need this. 11.30 left in the first half. 16-11 and one. So Kobe Bogard comes back in and takes a Monty Clark spot. So you have Shepard, Bogard, Rashad Hunter, um, Shepard and Withers. And he hits it. 16-13 with 11.30 left in the first half. He stopped. 
Tried to go inside baseline on Bogard, just did not work. Good defense by Casnovia. They're being patient. Got a little man defense going there. Going to shoot a long three by, by Olsen. Olsen's hit a couple of these. 19 to 12, 11 minutes left in the first half. Klein's coming back in. Withers, a little short. Rebound by Harmer. Harmer gets fouled. So they're going to be two shots. That's only the second team foul on Casnovia. Canton has four. So two shots for Harmer. Harmer hits the first one. So it'll be 20 to 12 with 10.49 left in the first half. Hello, Greg Campbell, Calvin Simmons, Ozzy All. How are y'all? Second shot by Harmer with 10.49 left. First shot, second shot up, and he makes it. So 21 to 12, 10.49 left in the first half. Nate Klein comes back in. And you got Klein, Shepard, Rashad Hunter, Bogard, and Withers are your starters. Shepard looking for the open shot. Is he going to take it? Yes. Nice shot by Shepard. 21 14. 10 25 left in the first half. Got to watch Olsen. He's going to take that long shot. Blocked by Bogard. Wow, oh, what a beast. Bogard takes it all the way down. There he goes. And he and is picked. Coming back by Harmer. Going to call foul on the ground by Shepard, I believe. 9.58 left in the first half. SUNY Canton, 21. Casnovia Wildcats, 14. Again, thank you so much for watching on Facebook or YouTube TV. I am the sports guy, John Christopher. You're watching Casanova College Division III NCAA Basketball. One of two games tonight and two games tomorrow. Definitely going to get my fill of basketball this weekend. Rebound by Bogard. Nate Klein's going to bring it all the way up. And Rashad Hunter gets it across the timeline. Gets it right back to Shepard. Shepard going to go inside. Yes, we do again. 21-16. That's two in a row for Shepard. Nice little 12-foot shot. Five-point lead by Canton. Bogart's doing a great job on the inside. So Aiden Zayers back in with Shepard. Klein, Bogart, and Rashad Hunter. Oh, he let him have it. Nobody cut, picked him up. 23-16, nine minutes left in the first half. Bogart looking for the open man. He's going inside. There he goes. Fouled two shots for Bogard. That's the fifth foul for Canton. The next one will be one and one every time. 8.47 left in the first half. So Bogard gets a one and one. Oh, you're going to get two shots. Caught it in the act of shooting. We need both of these. And he makes the first one, 23-17. So Rashad Hunter gets a break, and Amani Clark comes back in. Well-deserved. It is approximately 11 degrees here in Casanova, New York. So if it's warmer where you're at, let me know. He missed the second one, 23-17, with 8.44 left in the first half. Looking for the inside. Bogard does not let anybody inside as much as he can. Canton looking for the long shot, and he hits a three. That was Santana hit a three. 
26-17, a nine-point lead by Canton. And Shepard, boom! What a hit! 26-20, eight minutes and 12 seconds left in the first half. Nice shot by Shepard. We could use a couple of them. A couple more gets us back in the game. Oh, it is stolen by Monty Clark. Oh, yeah. Foul on SUNY Canton for grabbing the arm. So that's a one and one situation for a Monty Clark now. 26 20 with eight minutes left. So one and one. I thought that was a one and one situation. Okay. We're not doing a one and one. Side out. So Klein is going to bring it down to the timeline across. Shepard. Zare. Aiden Zare. Looking for Klein to Bogard. Good shot. Nice shot. 26-23, 7.37 left. Nice little 15-foot shot. Oh, and he throws it. Oh, get him trapped. Here goes a drive by the boys, fouled by Shepard. So 26-22 with 7.25 left in the first half. He gets an and one, 28-22, 7-25. One shot. Hopefully he misses this one. And he makes it 29-22, 7-25 left in the first half. Got to come back, get back in this game. Clark brings it across the timeline to Klein. To Aiden there. To Monty Clark. To Nate Klein. Klein going to make a little drive and he comes back. Shepard looking for the open man. Bogard. Got seven seconds on the time on the time shot clock. Clark gets it. Oh, almost. Rebound by Canton. The boys takes a shot. Two shot. So 31-23. Nine-point lead, 640 left in the first half. So Monty Clark brings it back across the timeline to Aiden Zare, looking for Klein. Shepard's looking for an open shot. Kind of a transition change out. Back inside Shepard. Nice shot by Shepard. 31-24 with 16-16 left in the first half. They bring it back across very, very quickly. Harmer. Rebound, Klein off a long shot by Du Bois. And Aiden's pass it off very quickly. Zare, short, rebound, Shepard. Re offensively, oh, Thought he got fouled there, but did not. 31-24, 5.43 left in the first half. Long shot, rebound. Bogard after a loose ball. Klein brings it back across. He took like a 50-foot shot. I didn't think he had a chance. Live and die by the three. Aiden, Monty Clark, long shot, rebound by Harmer. Harmer's going to bring it up, and he misses it. Rebound by Monty, by Monty Clark. Klein's bringing it back on a fast break. Two Aiden's there. Boom! What a pretty three. 31-27 to 4.58 left in the first half. A lot of long shots tonight. We're going to take a small break and be right back.
If you're an athlete out there that would like to come to Casanova College, they have programs like equestrian, they have swimming, they've got baseball, softball, men's and women's lacrosse, men's and women's basketball, and I think in the fall they start golf, if I'm not mistaken. So men's and women's golf. So if you play any of those sports, get on Casanova's website and fill out the information and let a coach come talk to you. 458 left in the first half. SUNY Canton 31, your Casanova Wildcats 27. Coming out of a timeout, your starters for Casanova are Aiden Zare, Rashad Hunter, Nate Klein, Kobe Bogard, and Amani Clark. Canton's going to bring it across, which is Levy. No, I'm sorry. Which was Phillips. Clark had some good defense there on Du Bois. Oh, Rashad Hunter. And Hunter gets it. He does, does what he does. Wasn't no foul there. He just kind of, ball just kind of bounced off a bunch of stuff. Rebound. Oh. I, I kind of see his point. How does the referee on the outside call the foul when the referee underneath did not? Don't quite understand that, how that zone gets called from outside. The basketball professional should explain that to me. 423 left in the first half. 33-27 for Deji. Deji hits both of them. So 34-27 with 422 left. So Klein brings it across the timeline. Guarded by Phillips, Monty Clark, Kobe Bogard, rebound by Canton's Du Bois. And it is Aiden Zaire does a, gets it out, and it's our ball. Last touch by SUNY Canton. Four minutes left, 33-27. Six-point lead. And they call it a block by Casnovia. 3.55 left in the first half, 33-27. So Canton is bringing it across the line, which is Levy. No, I'm sorry. Phillips. You get Levy and Phillips mixed up sometimes. Inside move by Santana. Nice shot. 35-27, eight-point lead by Canton. Clark is looking for the looking for the steal, and then Du Bois gets called for the foul. One and one for Clark. 329 left in the first half. 35-27. We need both of these, Mr. Clark. Can we do that, please? First shot by Monty Clark. He's a senior forward, 6'3", 225 from Poughkeepsie, New York. From Corning Community College. 35-28 with 329 left. We need both of these, Mr. Clark, please. Takes the next shot. Again, please tell us on YouTube TV where you're listening to us from and what team you're pulling for. Kenton's bringing it across the timeline. Shot by Santana. He's made three in a row. 37 29, eight point lead with 310 left. Santana's a good player. Inside by Kobe Bogart. Nice play. 37-31 with 2.58 left. 
in the first half. And a nice move by Du Bois. 39-31, 2.42 left in the first half. We could use a three here. Rebound by Santana, who brings it across the timeline. Long shot by Santana, rebound by Aiden Zare and Rashad Hunter, and he takes it all the way, and Hunter tipped it back, rebound by Aiden Zare. What a nice play. And Bogard oh, to tried to tip it back. And then there's a walk in the process of it by Kenton. So nice play. Going to be Casnovia ball. 207 left, 39 31. So everything that's called foul wise is one and one. They're doing a side out, Casnovia. Got out to Imani Clark very quickly. Looking for Aiden Zare. Rashad Hunter. Rashad, oh, about moved that pivot foot. Kobe Bogard. Got seven seconds left on the on the clock. Five, four, three, short. He almost did not get that. Monty Clark had a good defense there. 139 left, 39-31. Rebound by Nate Klein. Monty Clark, I'm sorry, Aiden Zares asking for the ball, and he missed it. 126, 39-31. Both teams have gone up and down the court and kind of missed a shot here. They'll settle down here and try to figure out a play here. There's about two seconds difference between the time clock and the uh, shot clock. They're going to call a foul on four, I believe. Should be two shots. 39 31. All the way, got uh, Audrey Talent from. Fort Oldorf, Georgia, and Joanne Seward. Two shots by Phillips. 40 to 31 with 107 left. Bogart's got two fouls, so they're going to bring him out. Shepard comes in. So you've got Nate Klein, Shepard, Zare, and Amani Clark, and Rashad Hunter. Those are your starters for Casnovia. 41-31, 10-point lead with 107 left. Rashad Hunter gets it right back across the timeline from Imani Clark, setting up the play. 58 seconds left, 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Rashad Hunter going to make that shot, and he missed it. And they don't want to call the jump ball, but they want to call... The fouls. Going to be timeout, Casnovia. So 48 seconds left, 48.1 technically, with 28 seconds left on the shot clock, 41-31. I am the sports guy, John Christopher. You can follow us on YouTube. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel here and watch all the athletic events. We're going to be doing baseball and softball, possibly some men's lacrosse, and looking forward to doing that. Love doing some baseball. You could talk about everything in baseball. Talk about everything. Trivia. Sometimes you get, if it's really active, you don't have time to do all that, but sometimes you get it done. Looking forward to both of them. I cannot wait to see the rise ball from a 68-mile-an-hour softball. That is impressive to me. I have a baseball player that's uh, doing the camera next to me, and he's just smiling. I bet he can't hit a 68-mile-an-hour rise ball. That's like 80-mile-an-hour in a baseball now. He's not a pitcher, but I tell you what, don't try it. There's water on the floor. I challenge you. 
Get their best pitcher and let her pitch you 68-mile-an-hour rise ball. See if you can hit it. You know what a rise ball is? That's a fastball that rises up and high up and up here. Oh, yeah, it's called a rise ball. You need to YouTube that. He's never had a 68-mile-an-hour rise ball. It's like an 80-mile-an-hour fastball. Rebound by Shepard with 38 seconds left. Hunter, Shepard. Night, 18 seconds left on the 16, 24 seconds on the regular clock. So you're going to have to, not going to get the last, last shot. There will be a few seconds left. Klein's going to go inside, looking for Aiden's there. Nate Klein, and it did not make it. 31, 41-31, SUNY Canton. And he missed it. Air ball. So the first half ends, SUNY Canton 41, Casanova College 31. We're going to have stats here in just a minute. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Casanova College. I am the sports guy, John Christopher. Stats for the first half. We, number 33, Andrew Fitch, which is seven foot one from Melbourne, Australia, had got two quick fouls and had two points, so he went out very quickly. Levy had three. Du Bois had nine. Phillips had two. This is what killed uh, Casanova. Danny Santana... Six for ten, one for three on the three-point. 
for 13 points in the first half. Harmer had two. Averett had two. Peyton Olson had six. And DJ Deji had two for a total of 41 points. They shot 15 for 37 for 40 percent, point five. They shot 28 percent from the three-point line, four for 14, and free throws. They shot seven for eight for 87 and a half percent for for Casnobia. Total points: Kobe Bogard had five, Amani Clark had four, Aiden Zare had five, Nate Klein had two, Rashad Hunter had six, and Marcus Shepard. Nine points. We shot uh, 12 for 34, 35%. We shot 33% on the three points. And free throws, we shot four for five for 80%. Bench scoring, Canton had 12, we had nine. In the paint, Canton had 14, we had 12. Turnover off uh, offense, seven for Canton, we had none. Second chance points, Canton had six, we had none. Fast break, they had four and we had five. Those are your stats for the first half. We'll come back here in about 10 minutes and 50 seconds for the second half of the Casanova Wildcats bas basketball. I am the sports guy, John Christopher. Please subscribe on the YouTube channel and watch us uh, every time. We're going to be doing baseball and softball and men's lacrosse, women's lacrosse. And if you're interested in playing the next level of a sport, Casanova College, check us out and uh, fill out the information and the coach will get a hold of you. We'll be right back after that. Bye-bye.
Welcome back to Casanova, New York, where the temperature here, the other day I did this, the temperature was in the negative one or something, and now we're eight degrees. So, hey, it's cooled down just a little bit. We do have a lot of snow on campus, that's for sure. One minute and 18 seconds left to start the second half. SUNY Canton, 41-31 over Casanova Wildcats. Been a very decent game for the most part. And um, this is really what it's going to make, make it happen. So we've got a 10-point deficit, so we have to make difference here. I'm not sure who the stars are going to be. I'll just have to look when they come out for Casanova. And uh, we're hoping for a victory for the second half. We are live on YouTube TV. Please put down, put in the comments where you're hearing this from. And also on Facebook Live, please put the city that you're listening to from. Hello, everybody. My camera operator and I were discussing the rise ball of softball. He claims he can't hit it, and I'm claiming he can't hit it either. <laughs> we're having fun. So our starters for Casanova, I mean, Nate Klein, Aiden Zare, Kobe Bogar, Rashawn Hunter, and Monty Clark. So... Klein's going to set it up to Rashad Hunter. Good, good move by Hunter. Kobe Bogart going to take a drive. Oh, and he missed it. They have Fitch out there, seven foot one from Australia. They've got um, Phillips. They've got Du Bois, and they've got Santana out there. Rebound by Bogard. Klein's going to bring across the timeline very quickly. And what a shot by Hunter. Over seven foot one. 41-33 with 19-15 left in the second half. Good man defense. Santana trying to make a move. I don't know what he called. Forty-one thirty-three. Going to be Canton Ball. Obviously, it was something. I guess he flopped. No, it's our ball. It was against Canton. Number four, that would have been uh, Phillips. That was confusing. Klein brings it across the timeline to Amani Clark, to Hunter. Monty Clark looking 13 on the uh, shot clock. Klein's looking at the climb clock, trying to get it. There goes Aiden there. Oh, turnover to uh, Du Bois. Bogart rebound and gets it from Canton. Gets it to Monty Clark, to Rashad Hunter. Back to Rashad Hunter. There he goes. And he swoops right around there. What a move by Rashad Hunter. 41-35 with 18-11. They tired of fooling around. They tired. They ready to get back in this game. Hello, Jerry Brooks. And going to call a foul on Zaire, I believe. Yep, this is first, team first. 17.58 left in the second half. 41-35, SUNY Canton and the Casnovia Wildcats. Two shots. By Levy. And Levy makes it. 42-35, Second shot by Levy. And he shoots. 
and makes it 43-35, eight-point game for Canton. So Klein calls for the play, gets it across the timeline to Monty Clark. Aiden's there. Back to Clark. Clark for good shot. No help with the rim. Rebound. And stolen by Klein. Nice play, Rashad Hunter. With no foul on their Santana. Klein tried to block it, he missed it. 45-35 with 17-16. Did you see that move? He didn't hit the head, he just fell right on the floor. Good play. He'll feel that tomorrow. Monty Clark going inside to Bogard. Rebound by, it's hard to see them, uh, Levy. My apologies. Blocked by Klein by Phillips. Oh, can't get a call. That's twice he's probably been fouled. Rashad Hunter. Oh, going to be turnover by Fitch. So it's going to be Kaz Novia ball. 45-35, 16-31. Klein is one of those that just jumps in there. Doesn't matter. He's a, he's a, he's a worker. He's a blue-collar worker. Inside to Bogart, to Aiden Zare. Rebound, Monty Clark. Nice play. And fouled by Bogart trying to reach on Levy. That's our second foul. Casanova's second foul. That's his third. So Allen Wims coming in for Bogart. No, Bogart staying, taking Aiden Zare out. So you got Bogard, Wilms, Rashad Hunter, Amani Clark, and Klein. You got Santana, Fitch, um, Levy, and Phillips for Canton. There's Klein going inside. Nice play. 45-37. What a good dish by Rashad Hunter. 15-56. Left. Wilms, short, rebound by Bogard. And it's out on Canton, so it's going to be Casanova's ball. Good defense by Bogard. He's a grinder, too. They all grind. They got to get a towel and wash off the floor. So Klein's going to go over and clean it up. A little sweaty for falling. Make sure nobody doesn't get hurt. That shows leadership. So ball out for Casanova. Klein brings it across the timeline. Allen Wims, top of the key. Monty Clark, top of the key. Rashad Hunter, going to make a little drive. 15 on the shot clock. Wims, Klein, Rashad Hunter going to go inside. And it just didn't. Lightly did not go in there. Kind of bounced out. 45-37, 15-14 left. Santana trying to make a move. Long shot by Phillips. 48-37, 11-point lead. 15 minutes left in the second half. Wilms looking for the to Klein. Back to Wilms. The three is not working tonight. 
48-37, Rebound by Rashad Hunter. Klein's going to bring it all the way in. Back in. Got his own rebound. 48-39, nine-point lead. 14-25 left in the second half. Levy's got the ball trying to clear everybody out. Santana trying to make a move on Rashad Hunter. And blocked by Hunter. Yes, he did. And he's going to be a nice one. There he goes. 41-48, 14 minutes left in the second half. What a play by Rashad Hunter. Good defense. Santana tried to get, get something, and Hunter's like, nope, not going to do that. Hunter is a senior. Going to major in criminology and homeland security. Rebound Wims. And, re- and gets it out to Rashad Hunter. To Nate Klein, who's going to go, going to be a foul on, on Fitch. That's going to be his third. He's seven foot one from Melbourne, Ohio, uh, Melbourne, Australia. I said Ohio. They change out so quick, and can it's hard to keep up with their stars. But I can with ours. Ours is Shepard, Klein, Monty Clark. We got uh, Wilms and Rashad Hunter. Nate Klein. I'm sorry. Shepard. Going to make that move. Yes, he did. 48-43 with 13-17. Shepard's having a good game, but you know what? Hard to take on a three. That's Olsen for a three. He had like 13 in the first half. Shepard, oh, rebound by Wims. They get it across, and they got and it got st- uh, pitched stolen from by uh, Olsen. To Rashad, to Rashad Hunter, back to Klein. Klein's going to make him going to try to go baseline. There it goes, Rashad Hunter, short. Wims almost had it. He is not scared to get in there. Allen Wims Jr. Oh, turnover by Canton to Amani Clark which is going to take it, and what a play by Wims. 51-45 with 12-15 left. Three really tough plays underneath the basket. And a timeout by Canton. Time to make adjustments. 51-45 with 12-15 left. Coach Stern asking about whatever is going, uh, something he saw. So Coach Stern trying to get his get his next play set up. Hello, Jerry Brooks. Hello, Mike Smith. Please leave your comments in the YouTube channel. Where you're seeing this from, please do it on Facebook as well. We do appreciate it. Have to say hi to Abigail. She had waved earlier, and I did not acknowledge that. I apologize. 12-15 left in the second half. Six-point lead by Canton. 51-45. Your starters for Casanova is Alan Wims, Amani Clark, Rashad Hunter, Nate Klein, and... Marcus Shepard. I remember his first, last name, but not his first name. Shepard's played really well today. What a block by, by Rashad Hunter. Going to do a little layup. And it got him. 51-47. Nice play by Rashad Hunter, the senior. Going to go inside. Oh, there it goes. Oh, no, he's on the ground. 11.40. It's on the ground, going to be side out. 
on uh, Peyton Olson. A little timeout here. Real quickly, full timeout. How you doing there, Mike Smith? Dalton Danger owner. Hope you all have a great season this year. Jerry Brooks, great lieutenant firefighter. Known him for 20-plus years. He works for the city of Rossville Fire Department in Georgia. 11.40 left in the second half up here in Casnovia, New York, where the temperature is 8 degrees. Had a little snow today, but we're not getting the big storm that the city and the east coast is getting, the hurricane. The winter hurricane. We got hurricanes for everything now. So they get the ball out, set up, and he traveled, took that extra step. Marcus Shepard going to take it out. Shepard's had a good game. Nate Klein bringing it across the timeline. My camera operator's on point tonight. Last couple camera operators I've had have been on point. Yes, sir. We might talk a little baseball, too, in a timeout or something. Alan Wims. Yes! What a play! What a strong play by Alan Wims. 51-49 with 11-15 left in the second half. They're ch chipping away here. Let's see if they can get this last one and make it 51-50. That was on Olsen. No. Tavaga. Short rebound by Marcus Shepard. Oh, too strong. Good offensive rebound by Marcus Shepard, though. 51-49, 11.05. Going inside. Good defense. I thought he moved to pivot foot, but okay. Long shot by... Canton, rebound by Marcus Shepard. Gives it to Nate Klein. Shepard's going to make that shot. And he has. We have tied this back up. 51-51, 10-35 left in the second half. Folks, we got to get excited now. Yes, they're getting excited. The bench is, is yelling defense. Good defense. Up. Oh. Got it. Going to be 53, 51, plus one there. Maybe on Shepard. So 53, 51 with 10, 19 left in the second half. So Rashad Hunter's going to uh, get back for rebound. So is Amani Clark. So your stars for Casnovia, Wilms, Shepard, Hunter, Clark, and Klein. I'm really surprised they didn't watch the tape from the other day and do that full court press that gave them so much trouble. But good thing we get to bring the ball across and it's going to be easy. Shepard looking for the open man. Going to get Monty Clark. And a nice pass by Hunter to, to Clark. 54-53 with 9.57 left. In the second half. Going to be inside. Shepard, good defense. Rebound by Nate Klein. Good defense by Marcus Shepard. Allen Wims, a block. Williams had the position. He kind of bounced up off of it. 54-53. 9.40 left in the second half. It's going to be one and one. No. Going to be, is he going to call this a shot or is it outside out? It's going to be side out. Williams asking for the ball. Shepard gets it out there to him. 
to Nate Klein at the top of the key. Nice play. Klein is going to gas for Allen Williams. Rebound by Santana. Angelo brings it down. I'm sorry. Du Bois. Nice play on the inside on Wims. 56-53 with 9-12 left in the second half. Get a nice play inside like they've been doing. Shepard looking for the open. There's Rashad Hunter. Boom. Oh, really thought that was going to be uh, in. Kind of came on out. Nope. Marcus Shepard. Going to get three free throws here. I don't believe he fouled him. I think there's a little acting to go with that as well. Honestly, looking at the at the play on the tape, it looked like it was a little acting. Three shots. He gets the first one. That's Averett. He gets the second one, 59, 58, 53. Fitch comes back in. He's got three fouls. So they go big. 58, 53 with 850. He gets his last free throw here. And he makes all three of them. Nate Klein's going to bring it down. I have a feeling they're going to come right at Fitch. To Bogard. So you got Bogard, Wilms, Hunter, Klein, and Clark. Your stars for Casanova. And I believe Rashad Hunter stepped on the line. 59 53, six point lead by Canton. 8 31 left. The voice brings it across. Santana took it out. And good defense by Bogard. Bogard looking for the open man. Thought he had an open lane. Inside goes Wims. A nice play. Allen Wims, 59 55 with eight minutes left in the game. Was patient and got it, got the two pointer. We'll take it. Wims is a Vicious man on the boards. Vicious. Shot. I'm not sure if that was. That was a three-pointer. 62-55 with 7.38 left in the second half. Williams thought about the three, but it didn't. Hard rebound against a uh, seven-foot one, but we've done it. So Santana's going to bring it across the timeline after uh, Du Bois brought it up halfway. Looking for the open man. He kind of walked. I thought so. Turnover by Canton, 62-55, with seven minutes and four seconds left in the game. Hello, Abigail Evans. Mike Smith, Jerry Brooks. Please leave where you're watching this from on the YouTube channel and your comments. I sure do appreciate it. Got a second game coming up here real soon. I guess he moved the, moved the pivot foot. I'm not sure where the walk came from. 62-55 with 6.52 left in the game. Canton brings it across. Du Bois and uh, Santana. He kind of hooked him, I thought. 64 55 with 636. I thought he kind of hooked him around the neck there. There goes Klein. Uh, turnover by Klein. Foul by Clark. Clark. 
625 left in the game. 64-55. We were tied at 51. And it they've scored right after that. A three and I think some free throws. They've been on the line a lot more than we have. Ah, oh, look at that. Good move by Bogart. Gets it to Allen Wims from Clark. For Shock Hunter. Man, he shoots a pretty stroke. 64-58 with 5.53 left. Nice play by Rashad Hunter. Phillips brings it across. Averitt and Du Bois. Du Bois. He called timeout. Canton called a full timeout. So, timeout, 64-58, 535 left in the game. Take a small timeout, and we'll be right back.
I believe my mic was off, but I just wanted to let the uh, people know on the East Coast, closest to the city, good luck with that 12 inches of snow. Timeout is completed here. 29 seconds left. 78-73. SUNY Canton leads. So the referee's trying to get them out, out of the timeout. Coaches take as, me, as much as they can and plan and adjust. Olsen, Fitch, Du Bois, Phillips, and Santana. That's a timeout. Good defense by Casanova. We didn't lose any time out of it. They wanted to see what they were going to run, then he calls a timeout. 78 73 with 29 seconds left. This could last for an hour. We are in Casanova, New York, Casanova College, upstate New York. We're east of Syracuse by Casanova Lake. So now we have 21 seconds left on the shot clock, 29 seconds left on the time clock. We have another game after this. Casanova against Sue Canton on the, the women's basketball. We will have live for you on YouTube. Now they're going to do something different. They're going to line up. They're going to, like, bunch it all up. And he traveled. He traveled. Santana's upset. Bogard. 26.4 seconds left, 78-73. Bogard, Clark, Wick, Zare, and Hunter. Make up their mind. Fitch wanted to come out. Wims for three. Boom! What a play! 20 seconds left, and Wims hits a big three pointer. 78 76 with 20 seconds left. Woo! What a nice shot. Right in somebody's face. We'll be right back. Now the official saying that that was a two shot instead of a three shot. I really thought that was a three shot. Now they're going to go back to the score table. I believe it was a three. Just be honest with you. I think they got rooked out of that. I'd say that if I wasn't Casanova voice. That was a three pointer. That's okay. Have good defense. Wims, Zare, Hunter, Rashad Hunter, Clark, and Wick. They are calling. A foul on Casanova. That's his fourth foul, Rashad Hunter. Santana's still complaining. He's still complaining. 
Going to have a two shots for Du Bois. First shot by Du Bois. And he misses it. It was a one and one, my bad. And he gets fouled. That'd be the wrong one to shoot for the free throws. So it's going to be uh, one and one. So it's going to be side out. There's Wims. They're going to foul Wims. He can shoot those free throws. We'll take this 11.8 seconds left. No shot clock. 78-75. So two shots by Wims. We need every last one of these. It's a necessity. Oh, oh, and it's out on Santana. Turnover by Santana. Fitch is going out. So here we go. Bogart comes back in, takes Wick out. Going to have to shoot, shoot the three. Bam! Oh, going to be a close one. 78-75 with one second left. Now it's going to be two shots. So, by Du Bois, we will have conversation with Hopefully, Bogart and Coach, we will have conversation with Stern, Coach Stern, at the end of this game. Du Bois hits it, 79-75. We got everybody back for Canton. This will pretty much ice it if he makes it. And he does. 80 to 75 with one second left, and the shot, and game is over. 80 to 75, SUNY Canton beats Casanova, split the series. We're going to take a break, come back, get the stats, and then we'll have conversation with Coach Stern for sure.
Final stats for the game for SUNY Canton. Corin Du Bois, five. DeMero Levy, seven. Andrew Fitch, four. Phillips, Justin Chambers Phillips, one. Santana, 11. Tobaga, seven. Harmer, three. Olsen, one. Omaga, two. And DG, four. For a total of 47. They shot 40% from the field, 34%, almost 35% for the three point, and 85% from the free throw, 18 for 21 for the game. For Casnovia, Bogard, Kobe Bogard, five points, Amani Cart, six, Aiden Zare, five, Nate Klein, six, Rashad Hunter, 21. Allen Wims, 19. Marcus Shepard, 13 for a total of 75. We shot 43% from the field, 38, 36% from the three point, and six for 12 from the free throw line. Bench scoring, SUNY Canton, 26. Casnovia, 32. 36 points for inside the paint for Casnovia, 28. Turnovers, 14 for Casanova, 9 for uh, Canton. Those are your stats for the game, and we're going to have Coach Stern here in a little while after the cool-down period, possibly Kobe Bogart. We'll be back in just a few minutes. A correction on a scoring, Marcus Shepard had 13 points as well. So I do apologize, Marcus Shepard, you did have 13 points final. 